Good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is Steve. It's Steve's DIY. Uh, I run into something here, and I thought you guys might want to see it. Uh, just got through changing out this vanity and putting in a sink. Let me show you here. Looks pretty good. Put a faucet in it. Looking good. Well, this vanity just happens to be a smidge taller than the one I took out. So guess what? Normal plumbing, right? <clears throat> the drain tube here don't reach the next, the J track right there. P trap. So uh, they sell an extension at Lowe's and I figured most of y'all may done know that, but the ones that don't know, they just sell an extension. It's like six inches. Some of them's 12 inches. Uh, they come in a pack. Uh, here's the pack. Here's what the extension looks like. And it'll come with a, uh, usually a, a washer. And the, I guess it's called a nut, but washer and a nut. Well, either way, it just slides right up on this. Let's slide that out of the way. Slides right up on that. And it just makes the, makes it a little longer. And sometimes that's just what you need. Something a little longer. So we're gonna put this on there. You just slide that washer. It actually comes with a V kind of beveled down. I think you can see that. Uh, this is backwards. It's got the bevel. This is forwards. You want this going into your tube like so. That It's got a little bevel here and that's what seals it off. Of course, you want it sealed off. All right, and it just threads on like so. Now it's plenty long enough. Sometimes they're too long, and that's something else I was going to show you. Sometimes you only need, say, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half. You don't need six inches. So I usually take my oscillating tool and just, you know, cut it right here. If that's where it needs it, you just cut it off. If by some chance you only need like that much, you probably need to cut this one, the black one that's sticking down. Let me show you. Uh, you just cut this one off because you can't cut it so short that it hits here into that. It won't work. Uh, you're cutting off everything that you need to tighten tighten down on. So either way, you just cut an inch off of that. And sometimes even the six inch extension, which is what this one is, it's too short. And you need a 12. Uh, let's hope not. <clears throat> But either way, I usually just loosen this. A lot of times if you're just now doing this, this will leak water out of it because it holds in this J right here. So I just carry it down. Keeps life simple. And then uh, this just happens to be inch and a half. They sell inch and a half and inch and a quarter. That's pretty common. Uh, usually inch and a half in the bath. A lot of times the thing coming out of the wall will be an inch and a half and they'll taper it down to inch and a quarter. About all the bathroom stuff will be an inch and a quarter. Uh, so they make these fat washers that goes from an inch and a half down to an inch and a quarter. So it's, as you can tell, this is bigger, but the washer is bigger. And we're gonna do the V down. The washer is bigger. So it seals off that gap. Looks a smidge darky, but that's what you got there. All right, get on there. <clears throat> like so. So we're gonna put this back on. <sighs> All right, dummy. What are you doing? <sighs> Early in the morning. Getting this one started first, and I usually get it pretty close. And then I get this, slide this one down there. Make sure that washer ain't at a hard angle. A lot of times in plumbing, this thing will be kinked or whatnot. 
and that's no good. You want it pretty darn close. Cause if not, it's gonna dribble on you. I got that one snugged up. That one snugged up. Let's snug this one up. All right, brand new. Pretty much simple as that. We'll cut the one wrong. Uh, I know this ain't politically correct, but this is a rental. Somebody's had me put in a new vanity, and there's <laughs> that's what they want. So that's what they're getting. There you go. Draining like a champ. Hope this video helped you.